Hi everyone, Daisy here again with another layout for the 30 Days of Sketches with Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. Um, and everybody else who's playing along, there's multiple people. Um, so today we are on day 20 and I literally did this, um, this layout at like midnight the night before. So actually it was the 20th. Um, actually, I think it was like 1130 because my husband was still up. So um, yeah. I was ahead previously and now I'm falling behind. So anyhow, what I did is I figured out what paper I was going to use in my photos and then I traced a heart onto the background um, to represent the heart in the sketch. And now I'm going to use my sewing machine and a straight stitch. And I always increase the length of my stitch to a four um, just because I feel it works better on paper. And I'm just using white thread and going around the heart shape. Um, you saw I kind of erased it, but I left enough of an impression that I could see it. Um, you can't see it on camera, but I could see it while I was um, actually doing the sewing. So that's all that matters, I guess. Um, but I'm going to go out around it three times. The first two times just using that straight stitch and then the fourth time I'm going to use a zigzag stitch in three different places on the heart. And it's kind of messy stitching and um, yeah, I just wanted to look like a messy heart. I didn't want it to be too like stand out because this is a layout about my son and not that he would have a problem with hearts being on it, but you know, I just wanted to be a little less obvious. Um, so that's why I chose to do it this way. And then when I finish up with the heart here, I'm gonna go ahead and stitch down that blue plaid paper. That is from Dear Lizzie. Um, oh, which one? Mm. One of the Dear Lizzie collection. She's magic, maybe. Um, and so I'm just going to stitch around the outside just using a straight stitch, just going one time around. I always back stitch as well because that holds your uh, or it locks your stitch in place. Um, and that's important so it doesn't pull through. I find that on paper it tends to do that over time, especially if you like take your uh, layouts in and out of a page protector, it has a tendency to do that. Not that I do that a whole lot, off, lot but um, it happens, you know. So I'm just going to ruffle up the edges here of this blue paper and then um, trim my strings. And then I'm going to set my photos down, but then um, I'm going to jump ahead a little bit because, well, my dogs needed my attention and also I didn't have any embellishments picked out for this layout so I'm like oh well that would have been smart to have but whatever <laughs> so I just kind of pause the video and come back but these are two photos of my son from this year obviously um, and he was my mask model um, I was trying like I was learning how to make masks and I wanted to make a variety of sizes um, Somebody had asked if I could make some for their son, and so I wanted to make sure that they fit like a boy size head. Uh, so he kept trying them on for me, which was very nice. I ended up making like 45 masks or something like that, and because she said she wanted a whole bunch of them, she wanted like 30 something, and so I wanted some for my family. Well, she only ended up buying 15 of them because she realized how many masks that actually was. So I have a ton of masks but anyhow so I just pulled out a ton of random stuff so I have like old project life cards I have um, some old like journaling pieces you remember back in the day when they used to come um, like in a, a notebook type spiral bound thing and you'd have to tear them out um, for the like little journaling spots um, I had some of those, um, some older, are they jelly bean soup? I'm not sure. Might be simple stories or something like that. Um, like file folder kind of things. 
Um, so I just pulled out a bunch of stuff and just started layering it up. And this all comes from my like random stuff bin. Um, and then I fussy cut out that camera out of a Chamel paper and on the back, <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. On the back of it was that pretty blue, so I put the kind of scraps in a couple of places. I had some more of these stars that I've used on a few layouts um, that were cut out of craft paper from a um, Confessions of a Paper Addict cut file. And I used the other portion of the cut file, and so I had all these stars left over. So using a few of those... I tucked in a couple of old um, crepe paper phrases, one that says the best, one that says sweetheart. I had this little phrase sticker that says, um, oh, I can't even remember, like, you shine bright or something like that. And so I put that on there. Now I'm just sticking everything down. Um, I'm kind of working from the top down, which is always always a gamble whether stuff is actually going to end up the way it was because um, if you accidentally bump something and don't realize it that can mess up uh, your placement but it turns out pretty well I decided to pop up that camera and then um, I'm going to stick my stars down And then I think I start working on my title. Um, but anyhow, if you haven't already, head on over to Christy's channel and check out her uh, amazing creation for today. Um, and then there will be links down below, I hope. I'm sorry, I've been having major issues with technology. And every time I spend a long time loading everybody's links up, it resets. And I'm about ready to lose my mind. I don't know why it's doing that. So nothing's been in the description box. And I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Um, but I will try to link them down below. Or as soon as I can, I will link them down below. So please be patient with me. Um, but anyhow, I'm adding this title here. Just going with mask model. The top one is um, Aster. And then the cedar thickers. Now I'm pulling out a couple of these clear pieces from um, Basic Gray. Oh, I miss Basic Gray. I wish they would come back. Basic Gray, I know you're definitely watching my video. So you should definitely come back. Start making paper stuff again. Um, oh, I forgot I stuck that over there. I don't think I ever glued that down. Do I take it off? Ooh. I don't know. Um, I don't think I did. Oh, nope, I did not. I'm going to glue it down now. So anyhow, I'm going to add some, um, I'm going to add that little piece that says hello. Again, that's also basic gray. And then I'm going to add some Spiegel Mom scrap sequins. These old basic gray acetate pieces have some film over the top of them that you have to pull off. Um, so I did that, but, wow, I can't believe I didn't stick that other piece down. Glad I have to do a voiceover, otherwise I would have never known. It would have ended up in the bottom of my album, and I would have been like, oh, where did that come from? Um, so anyway, I'm using Spielbaum scrap sequins that are wood grain from In the Woods collection, and then that's going to be the end of my layout. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and are enjoying the 30 days of sketches, and hopefully I will have a layout for you tomorrow. See you later. Bye.